What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Moto WordPress Teams and in today's video you're gonna learn how to receive notifications or how to send notifications in the case that someone changed some posts on your site, published a new content on your site. So imagine that you run a big blog that have multiple editors, posts creators, authors, and you as website owner or the website administrator would like to receive a new email explaining that a new content has been created on your site. How to do this for free on your WordPress website for beginners is what you're gonna learn in this video. But before I can continue, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button, like this video and share this content with a friend of yours. You have no idea how much that helps because I bring daily videos about WordPress, SEO, plugins, optimizations and many many more topics in your choose internet on your site's favor. So let's get this started. Very first thing to do, navigate from the left side bar of menus on your WordPress website, hover your mouse over plugins and click on add new, okay? Into the upper right corner of your screen, next to keyword, you're gonna search plugins and type customize WordPress email and alerts, okay? So this guy right here, by made with full, it's the one that you're gonna be installing. Click on install now, click into the activate button. As soon as you do this, you're gonna be redirected to the WordPress plugins list, a list where we can see all of the present plugins on your site. Nothing to do right here, okay? But as you can see, we have a new plugin right here called Better Notifications for WordPress, okay? You're gonna move to Settings. As soon as you install the plugin, you're gonna be able to review the left side bar of menu of your site as soon as you activate the plugin. And next to Settings, you're gonna be able to see a new item on the menu called Notifications. And you can move to Settings. Suppress spam comments notifications. It's good. I recommend you to select this option. HTML formatting or plain text. Enable content shortcuts. Can be a good option for you in the case that you need it, okay? And alloy usage tracking. It's up to you, but I'm gonna not mark this. After all we have to do it's enter to the add new button, okay? Right here, we're gonna create a new notification, can be new post. Select what this post is about. Eating review, event, person, product, receive. This is a part of other plugin. You will not see this on your, on your site, so let me just close this. And the options that everyone gonna see is this one. Notification settings, notification for new user registration, user lost password, password changed. We have a lot of options right here. WordPress core automatic background updates, policy, new user registration, new post publish or post updated. So right here, you can choose the ones for you. You can create a notification for a new post published or for a post updated. I'm gonna be selecting this one, okay, post updated. So we can change HTML or plain text. Additional email fields, so from name, email reply, to CC. So close that caption. So additional email fields sent to author. send to, so right here you're gonna be able to send to all of the website editors, authors, contributors, subscribers, or for all the admins. I'm gonna send to admins, you can select more options right here if you prefer, okay? After, accept for, and you can enter some users to add in some exception. The subject of the email can be post updated. And right here, we have options to play with. We can find short codes. This is gonna load the plugin devs website. So right here, you can find some short codes, post updated. And here are the short codes. All we have to do is copy this and go right here. Site title, the global site title. 
site tagline, global site tagline, site URL, admin email, current date, current time. So we have lots of short codes. As you can see, there is a lot of short codes that you can use right here, okay? Post tag, post accept, post status. can enter the post updated author what else you can do Here are all of the notification options. Of course, you're gonna need to invest a little of time right here in order to create the structure of the email that you want to, okay? In my opinion, only the update notes are gonna be good enough, okay? But post updated author can be a good one. You can also read the plugin documentation in the case that you prefer. gonna collect two other important information okay the post permalink the post URL and the post ID from the short codes and enter to my structure right here remember you can customize this in the way that you want you can even just write a notification post updated on your site or everything that you want but right here you're gonna filter the information and have faster data access okay but of course receiving an email gonna help a lot as well after this, notification, enabled or disabled, I'm gonna set as enabled and save. Notification saved, okay. Send me a text email, you can do this in order to review how does the email goes, okay, on your case. And you can always come back right here and create new notifications. All the notifications gonna be right here and you can create notifications for you via email into any area of your site, you know, any part, any content of your site, for example, user registration, some new download, some new published content, some new author, password lost, WordPress by default have some default emails, but you can customize and create custom structures using your creativity and this short codes list right here. Another important option is your WordPress needs to be able to send emails for you. Some WordPress installations isn't able and you need to use some other plugin in order to let you connect your hosting email servers with your own email, okay? So I'm gonna just go to YouTube and search for email visual model and you're gonna be able to find tutorials for this as well. But it is, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to let me know into the comments below what kind of notifications you want to create for your site so I can help you with it. And let me know into the comments if you need any help. And it is. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case you don't have any question. Don't forget to check out our Borders WordPress plugin. It's completely free. Or Enzu WordPress team to customize your site for free as well. Or Growth.net platform in the case that you run a blog and would like to submit your site for receiving as posts publishing as posts and be connected with a growing blogging community and finally in the case that you want to go premium while you're doing your site to count on our help unlock access to our full templates library of pre-built websites that you can import with a single click premium icons blocks assets templates and many many more features go to visualmoto.com purchase the visual Moto pass and go premium and it is hope you guys enjoyed this video and i see you tomorrow all the best